integrity, transparency, the fight against corruption have to be part of the culture. They have to be taught as fundamental values. Trust is fundamental for, for the development of democracy. I think trust is uh, important for the mandate politicians have to do their job. The basic trust is built by the fact that people feel that you are representing them. Go back to our roots. What is fair and what is not fair? And introduce that into our policies, introduce that into our way of operating, and be accountable. Um, be able to answer questions by journalists, by members of parliament, by members of the public so that people know what we're doing, why we're doing it and how we're doing it. I think this is the first step. And I think quite often when we think about the greatest threats to the world and the universe today, climate change tends to come to mind. But what if we flipped the script and we started thinking about corruption um, as one of the greatest threats to human advancement? One thing that we keep on hearing is the commitment by politicians saying that they are committed to fight against corruption. My impression is that they are aware of what corruption means, but they are not so much aware of what commitment means. Every single person on this planet is currently suffering because of some kind of corruption somewhere. All of us have a duty to fight against this stuff and to try and make sure that we are trying to push forward the anti-corruption, pro-integrity agenda. And ultimately, if we can do that, then we can protect something as basic as our entire way of life. Planet integrity is an aspiration, but at the same time, it defines an ambition and it also defines a path, a roadmap, a way forward. I think planet integrity is, is a good way of adopting to the 2030 agenda of, of the global goals. And commitment means real action and compromise and political will in order to fight corruption and to implement the rules. Rules are important, but they are not enough. We have to enforce and implement. I think if we do, then we'll start to probably adopt planted integrity as something that we should uphold in highest regard. We must be able to make sure that uh, we preach integrity in our communities. Integrity is doing something right, even if no one is watching. If you do not teach it from the very beginning, then you have to resort to sanctions. It's like health, a lot better and certainly a lot cheaper to prevent than to try to cure corruption. Thank you.